motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you. Your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided. Be anyway, this is Josh. I'm coming to you. I've just been listening to uh, Valeno. Uh, 72 to her uh, recent vid that she just posted within the last hour and uh, in the last couple of days or so I've been and uh, been in touch with her we've been uh, talking back and forth kind of and and I believe that uh, it is the Lord's will to uh, extend the uh, work that she's doing you know south of the border to up here on the, on the west coast of Canada and if you go look over her videos, you'll have an idea of what uh, God is putting in my heart to do on Vancouver Island. And uh, it, <clears throat> at this time, and just this is something new. You know, I've been searching out the Lord's will for my life. At, at, you know, and uh, while I'm sitting here, you know, recuperating, getting my left arm back in shape again, and. And I believe the time has come for those who are part of this uh, end time move to uh, stand up and to be counted and to come together into little groups uh, outside the you know uh, various cities. It, it's kind of hard to do this on the mainland, as you would have to be you know way you know way up in the the hill somewhere. And but there, Vancouver Island is you know is dotted with a lot of cities along the you know right from the south up to the north, and there's lots of land there. So this would be a you know a great gathering point, great place to begin. And uh, you know there is a time coming, folks. You know if you live on Vancouver Island, if you don't get if you don't make preparation to get off, you 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 will die. And. Uh, as some of you know, that the Lord has shown me in the 1988, he, He's brought me into the the uh, time of uh, where where I saw myself bringing forth a, a mass warning to those uh, living on Vancouver Island, and also to to wake them to 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 leave. You know, I saw in this when the Lord brought me there. In the, in, in the spirit, I saw Nanaimo being absolutely, totally uh, under mandatory evacuation and uh, along with the, the rest of Vancouver Island. And I believe that this is going to happen just before the second wave of martial law that's going to come on, you know, come on the land and in the hearts of the people, I saw that the figure factor was around seven, and now it's just three, maybe climbing a little bit higher than three. So it may be that uh, b between now and the time that uh, uh, we still have on the west coast, that we will see the first wave of martial law come, you know, come down on the land as as a wake up call. So this. Uh, First block of vids from uh, f uh, 500 to uh, 510 will be more or less of, a, of an intro, and uh, you know concerning the urgency for those who believe that they're part of this in time move, who believe that they recognize the need. To get out of the cities and, and to gather together in, into temporary camps first. And from there, begin to prepare for, you know, to, to leave Vancouver Island and the West Coast when that time comes. If you leave it until the last, you may get off the island with the, you know, you may escape the, the judgment. To come, but you may end up dying because you got nowhere to go. You haven't prepared in advance. So this is what what it's all about. And you know it's it really sucks having to where you're kind of isolated. You might be in a city. I know a lot of people in you know in the Nanaimo area. 
most, you know, we're all divided. We're, we're not living under, under one roof, under one camp. And those who are a one, are, are, are a one mind, like the early Christians, they were under one camp. They had all things in common. And this is the Lord's will for, for his remnant in these last days. And I really believe that right now, that right now, it is God's time. It is the Father's heart to begin to draw his children together into these safe camps. It might, you know, you might have an acreage, you might have a couple acres outside of, the, of Nanaimo or, or Parksville or maybe Victoria or it could be other cities on the up, up island on the north end. You know, the, the land that you own is not yours. That God has given you the finances to, to purchase that land. If you're a true believer, you're just a landowner. You're only looking after that land. That land belongs to the Lord. And uh, you who, who who are hearing the you know this this video, you need to take heed, because I'm telling you, there's a time coming. If you don't cooperate, what you have will be taken away from you. Those who have millions of dollars in the bank that are just trying to wait out to see what the economy is going to do, going to improve or not. You know, when the banks close your doors, you're going to lose your, you're going to lose your finances, because your finances will be taken from you, and you'll, you'll forfeit your chance of being able to use your finances to, to help in what the Lord is doing. To, uh, to bring forth an awakening and to, and to prepare temporary places for his people to, to come together initially and, uh, in preparation to go deeper into the wilderness. There is a new, move, a new move coming and it's begun. It's already begun. Right now, the sister down south, you know, she's uh, in contact with uh, many, many people that are being awakened to this vision of getting out of the country or getting out of the cities and getting into the country to at least uh, you know set up temporary camps you know you may have uh, motor homes and and things like that uh, nothing permanent but at least a temporary gathering now the eagles are gathering if you know your scripture it talks about i forget where it's at it may be in matthew it talks about the, the vultures coming together, but that's a mistranslation. It, it means eagles. When the eagles begin to gather, you will see the body come together at the same time. And the eagles are gathering people. The eagles are gathering. They're coming together. And they, these are the, the, the spiritual leaders, the first fruits that the Lord is raising up. So, so when the time comes that the those within his body will have a light, will have a guiding light, will have a place to go to. Because the time is coming where, where if you're in the cities, when all, when this first wave of martial law breaks out, you're going to be caught. You're going to, you're going to be caught and all the stuff that comes down, comes down because you haven't prepared. But first, people need to know about it. People need to have their understanding opening that now is the time to prepare. You can't put it off. This is God's time. And uh, you need to search out the scriptures and read Revelations 12, the, uh, the whole chapter. Because the whole chapter speaks about that out of the woman is going to come forth a new spiritual seed, this man-child people. And this ties in with Genesis 6, I believe, where it talks about that the, uh, the seed of the woman is going to bruise the head of the serpent. And the spiritual force that's coming forth out of the woman, these are the ones that God is calling out to now. And if you're, if you're hearing this, that you need to seek the Lord concerning coming together in, in community. And you, you know, we're in a time now that, you know, you can sell your home and you come together in, into temporary camps. And there's a time coming that you won't be able to sell your home 